one of the ones that I want to talk about today, and if you don't remember anything else I say, please remember this. And you all believe this, you all know this, but this is something that's good to remember continually. And that is, government gets more of what it rewards and less of what it punishes. It's a novel concept, it's logical, it's a fundamental truth, but it's something that's often clearly forgotten. And it's something that's really important to keep in the front of your mind as you're uh, going forward and making policy decisions. You know, does this policy actually accomplish what we're trying to accomplish? And oftentimes, it just doesn't. Uh, we've seen that with Obamacare and many other things. Um, but uh, a healthy economy requires a healthy foundation, a healthy tax foundation. And uh, you get good sound tax policy when you adhere to a few simple rules. I'm the chair of the Revenue and Taxation Committee in the Senate. And so as, as chairwoman of the, of the committee, I have to constantly remind my colleagues and uh, hold the line when it comes to good tax policy. And that is simple. Simple is better. Fair. Um, broad base, low rate. Transparent. Certainty is very important when it comes to tax policy. Um, the purpose of taxation, right, is to generate revenue to fund government. Purpose of taxation is not to, uh, for social engineering, it's not to control people's behavior, it's not to enrich the poor or impoverish the rich. That's not the purpose of taxation. It is just to generate revenue to fund government. And it's important to keep that in mind as you, as you implement your tax policy. Now, a few years ago, with that in mind, Utah did simplify our tax code. We took, we took out most of the credits, the deductions, the exemptions. We flattened the rates uh, to a 5% flat rate across the board. And that served us very, very well during our, the time of economic downturn in the last few years. We came through it, um, it was difficult, but we came through it with a lot fewer scars than some of our uh, friends across the state, or across the nation. Um, now, as, uh, as I've looked around the country the past few years, um, the last two years in particular, I've noticed that uh, a lot of states have recognized the, the destruction of their hostile tax policies, that, the, that their hostile tax policies have wrought uh, on their economies. And because of that, they have decided to start lowering taxes. In 2013, 17 states lowered taxes. Last year, 14 states lowered taxes. And this is a really important thing to keep in mind that um, as we're looking to improve our economies, as we're looking to uh, provide, make sure that, that there is plenty of economic opportunity in our states that we stay competitive with our, neighbor, with our neighbors. One of the things that I uh, would like to see happen in our state um, is uh, remove the sales tax, uh, you know, our business inputs, our, our, most of our business inputs are taxed right now, um, sales tax. And when you tax products, uh, that go into making a final product, it's a hidden tax. It's double taxation, it's not transparent, and it's not the best way to do things. So um, I would like to see that changed in our state, um, as well as uh, looking at the corporate income tax, which is a very volatile tax. It's the most volatile tax out there, and one that is, um, you just, you can't rely on it. And so uh, w as we look to generate new economic opportunities and stay um, competitive as a state, these fundamental tax policies are, are things that we're looking at and that we're trying to champion in our state, and David is walking slowly up the aisle, so that means I am done.